I'm Travis with Baku, and I'm going to show you how to build a Timberwolf, one of our fat tire electric scooters. When you receive your Timberwolf in the mail, it's going to come in a box like this, and everything that you need will be inside the box. To save time, I've taken mine out, and I've taken all of the bubble wrap and zip ties off of it. So go ahead and pause the video. Uh, get to this point, take off all your bubble wrap and zip ties. I used a pair of dykes. Uh, be careful when you're doing it near the tires or the paint. You don't want to scratch them up or puncture any tire. So go ahead and pause this video and then we'll get into what's in the box. First things first is the Timberwolf itself. It will not have the front tire on it. That will also be in the box. And on the front tire, you will have this quick release axle. This will be zip tied to the spokes of the tire. Make sure you take that off the tire. You'll also have the battery that the team here at Baku have put inside that box for you. So when you're ready, you'll be able to plug that battery in and ride. You're gonna have the grip tape that you're gonna put on yourself. On the front tire, you will have the front fender. Everything in the toolkit box is the front headlight, this little bag of nuts and screws to secure the fender and the headlight to the scooter. You're gonna have your charging cables and your charger and then you're going to have this bag of tools which you will need <clears throat> to build the scooter it's going to have a five millimeter hex key a four millimeter hex key an eight by ten wrench and then a 15 uh, millimeter wrench as well this is for the rear tire you will not need this wrench to build the scooter now that we know what's in your box, let's get right into building into step one. First, you will bring the steering column up and lock it in place using this slide lock mechanism. Now we will put the handlebars on. Grab your five millimeter hex key and remove these four screws. Make sure the washer stays with the screw when you remove it. Remove this top plate, and this is where your handlebars will sit. Do not hit your left brake while working on your handlebars or else it's going to pinch your pads together and you'll have to pry them apart. Now to put them in place, you first want to make sure the display is on the left side. Place the bar in and you will see these lines here. This is the middle of the handlebar and goes directly into the slot. Place the top piece back on and screw back onto steering column. You can hand tighten these screws and then use the five millimeter hex key to tighten the rest of the way. Next step is to put the tire on. First, you will remove the plastic spacer between the brake pads. Do not hit the brake when this is removed or you will have to pry the brake pads back open. Remove the crossbar and continue. I think the best way to put the tire on is to hold the tire between your legs and look down at the brake rotor as you pull the front fork over the tire and slide the rotor in between the brake pads. There's a plastic covering on the tire opposite side of the rotor. Make sure you take that off. Make sure the fork rests on the holes that the front axle will go through. Grab your quick release axle, unscrew the end and take off one spring. Place the axle through the tire 
put the spring back on, small side first, then screw on the end piece. You can make this hand tight and just make sure you get it tight enough that the clamp can still close but not too loose or it may come undone. Now that your tire is on, you can put the kickstand down. The next step is to put the headlight and the front fender on the crossbar of the fork. You will need the small bag of screws and nuts to do this. There is extra pieces in here, so all you will need is two washers, one nut, and one screw. Now the best way to do this is to keep it in this order. There's these two metal pieces on the front fender, and the order is the front metal piece, the crossbar, the headlight, and then the back metal piece. It will look like this when it is on the crossbar. Place one washer on the screw, then put screw through the holes. Then you will place the light on and thread the screw through the light and then the back metal piece. Once that is on there, put on another washer and then screw on the nut. After you hand tighten this, grab your five millimeter hex key and your 10 millimeter wrench that you see here and tighten this down. You don't want to tighten too much until you adjust the fender to the height you like. we suggest you put it in the middle of the metal pieces slot. Tighten the fender on and straighten above the tire. Now you can connect the headlight cable to the cable that runs into the battery port. Both of these cables have red tips. Connect the two red tips together. There are arrows on each end and you need to line up these arrows in order for the cables to be connected correctly. Now onto the grip tape. This can be tricky, so take your time and line up the edges and place down.
as you can see here, it took me a little while to get the edges perfectly aligned on the platform of the scooter. Once it's on, I like to grab a piece of the non-stick paper to push down on the grip tape and make sure it is all stuck in place. Once you've done that, check the edges. You don't want to have any overlapping edges that are coming off of the platform. If you do, like I have a small one here, you can use a razor blade to cut the tape. You don't want the overlaps on your grip tape or you could catch on something and parts of it could be ripped off. Last step, place your battery in. You'll notice these four connector pieces on the bottom of the battery, those go into the bottom of the battery slot. You cannot jam the battery into place as you see as it's not going in right now. So I need to grab the key, unlock the battery port, then I can place the battery in. Once the battery's in, you can lock it with the key, make sure it's in there good, and your battery is now securely in place. So those are the steps on how to build the Baku Fat Tire Timberwolf electric scooter. Before you start riding, I suggest you roll the tires back and forth a little bit, make sure that the brakes work. Um, you can always make micro adjustments to the handlebars if you unscrew this top piece of the steering column. You can rotate them back and forth. Obviously, uh, check your tire pressure, make sure that there's air in there. We have other videos on what you should fill your tires to. And once you've got that in, turn it on, get your battery going and happy riding. Ask us down below in the comments if you have any questions. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of other how-to videos, review videos, and how to build our product videos. So thanks for watching.